Better pay attention, class, because tomorrow we will be examining if a building has seven doors and it's on fire, how many ways can you escape the building? Class, here are today's problems. Or problem. The problem reads, there are seven doors. How many ways can you go in one door and out the other? What, anybody know? What's the answer? What's the answer, Mr. Anderson? How many can you go in one door and out the other? There are seven doors. Seven doors. Seven doors. Seven doors. How many ways can you go in one door and out the other? I have a need, a need that needs to be filled. I have a question for you to solve. If a room has seven doors, how many ways can a person enter through one door and exit through a different door? Your challenge begins now. Your first door has arrived. Better hurry, the clock of life is ticking. If a room has seven doors, there are six other doors for every door. That means that there are six exits for every single door. Seven groups of six is the same as seven times six, which means there are 42 ways to enter through one door and exit through another. How am I supposed to get out of here? Initiating launch sequence. Uh oh. Mr. Anderson? You followed me all the way to lunch? So what's that answer? I finally got it. Every seven doors that I came in, there were six ways to get out, and seven times six is 42. It's about time, Mr. Anderson. About time.